Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. It is 3 a.m. My flight home was delayed by three hours, and I got home about, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, maybe. I gotta play Wild Frost, though. Like I told you, probably gonna be a bad one today, but we'll see. You know, maybe I still got it. Who knows? The real problem is... So I was, you know, at my grandmother's. I haven't caught up on YouTube comments here. I'm gonna, gonna talk for a little bit. Skip ahead if you don't want to hear all of this. Uh, first, I want to say uh, for everyone who participated in the sponsorship that I did last week, thank you. We hit the goal that I was pushing for. I made, uh, we made good money on that one. Great job. I'm probably gonna take a break, but I'll probably take another one uh, somewhere in the first week of July, most likely. So I'll let you know about that if you want to join the discord you can ask questions about that and do that with us it helps me out a ton like you have no idea i mean you i can tell you i it, it is like a sponsorship was like a month of youtube for a week of work so you know it's pretty solid and it's a nice way to add on top of the income already uh but anyway it i'll, I'll pick my hero here and we can get going while i was at my grandmother's i feel like i bit my lip a lot so my mouth just hurts a ton something really irritated my mouth while i was there and it kind of hurts to talk but i'll be okay i don't think i looked at these heroes oh and i have no idea what i played yesterday well let's play let's, let's not make anything too difficult let's just play the good hero here let's play peyo Oh, one other thing. Tomorrow, instead of Wild Frost, I'm going to cover Samurai Showdown, because that game looks cool. I'm going to do a first look of it, and I will see how I feel and how you guys feel about it. I'm always on the lookout, and that game looks really fun. But I'm not playing it today, even though it's releasing today, because it's 3 a.m., and I don't feel like buying and learning a new game. All right, that's everything. I didn't put timestamps on. Feel free to timestamp where I stop talking if you care. But I don't think I care. I'm running the numbers. Hold on. So it goes... The multi-kill here is guaranteed if I just double sword the snow. The other way you could do this is you could sword the snowbows. But I think this is better because you have a 50% chance to half health the other snowbow. And this is less threatening than the demonized snow. Yeah, this looks right. Who me? This turns free. Okay, I remember how to play this game. This is a game that I'm always a little worried about taking a long break for, though, because you're going... It's it's a game that punishes you for slipping up, and you're going to slip up more if you're out of practice, is my expectation. I'm also out of practice just in content in general, you know. It's been actually a full seven days since I last recorded or did anything. Very strange. But... I vaguely remember what to do here. You use Woodhead to tank the Winter Worm, you ping the Goblin a bunch of times. Ugh. The hardest part about going out of town for seven days and then coming back is I can never- I can't remember how to use my mouse. It actually drives me nuts. I like- I just can't- I'm, I'm off slightly, you know? Anyway, we set up here for a two kill on the Snowbow and the Goblin. Yeah, I keep like, I'm missing the bell just barely. It's tough out here. Need to finish up the winter worm. I made Snow Knight harder to kill though. So he hits, he goes to, what is that? He's at eight. You're at three. He has a four turn timer. So I think I can line it up. You go to two. You go to one, it doesn't matter. I freeze Winter Worm. I bring Snow Knight. Yeah, this is good. Snow Knight goes to two. I have to freeze Snow Knight, and then I can sword the Winter Worm. You have to freeze Snow Knight because, of course, if you kill something pre-combat, kill a boss pre-combat, combat doesn't play, you don't get the Winter Worm kill, you miss out on a bunch of money. As is, that was good. 80 gold? Uh, 70 gold. I can do math. Mm, I guess we'll play top path. There's no double traveler, which is okay, I guess. That doesn't really bother me. Still haven't seen the ringer. It's been a while. Shell shield? Alright. Alright, I remember what to do now. 
click defensive options win the game. I remember. And yeah, block charm's fine. Nothing too crazy. Block charm means I'm gonna see Blunky here. Hmm. Well, that would have been cool to call my shot. We have Shell Shield, I'll play Chompong. What was yesterday's run? Yesterday's run was a big foxy. I don't remember it. Alright, it's globbery time. Let's get it. Fury on Earthberry, man, that's rough. He's a scary enemy to have Fury. That guy's hitting nine in two turns. I gotta freeze that guy. No way. Chomp on is pretty nuts, though. He hits a four. I think the Berry Witch won't heal if she dies. Ah, hold on. Um, hmm, she doesn't heal herself. I get it. She doesn't heal herself, so you can go kill the Earth Berry so he doesn't heal, and then she dies to the hero for the two kill. Yeah, no allies to heal you. I got it. Man, these Earth Berries are scary. What the hell? Chill. Or I guess freeze, but... Whoa. Alright, that one was actually my mouse freaking. I think. I'm just gonna say it was. We're not gonna multi-kill anything here, but that's okay. I'm gonna freeze up the Earth Berry. I'm kind of comfortable with this run as is. Like, I don't feel like I'm in a bad spot, so I don't need to sweat it too much on money. My mouse is losing it. What the hell? It's, it's the mouse. It's not me. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. Check, check the mouse. Someone check him mouse. Mm, I should probably kill Earthberry. It's, if Chompom wasn't offset from my hero by one, I, can, I could do a two kill here. I guess actually I could do a two kill anyway. You hit Porcupine. Earthberry goes to one. This is a three kill. Spike takes one. Chompom kills Goblin and then you sword the Porcupine. Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Not too hard to see either. Queen Globberry is, I think, one of the easier bosses in the game as well. Just shell shield up Chompom. Chompom doesn't quite one shot though. He does twelve, which means that I don't I don't have the action economy to one shot. But I could probably do it in two. I think I see it. Chompom drops Queen Globberry to that's 12, and this is 2. Chompom drops you to 1. Then Queen Globberry doesn't hit anything meaningful. Deals 1 to Spike, dies, and I kill the Berry Witch for my 2 kill. Alright, really good early game here. Very nice, very nice. I like it. $152? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, triple treasure, eh? I don't really need triple treasure. I'm gonna go look for Colonel. No shop is a shame, but maybe there's a kernel here. Uh, uh, you know, I don't need wart. And normally I would just say pick wart here, but like, you don't need him. I have chomp bomb. Chomp bombs are three turn timer carry. I'll play a little berry, but he's, he's like worse spike here. Not a great pick, but that's okay. Scrap charm. Ugh. It's okay, it's okay. I'm I'm optimistic still. Bomb bomb, kabonker, slap crackers, hongos. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's kabonker. It could be pom bomb. It's infernoko. And I don't have anything to kill on Makoko. I'm gonna pick pom bomb. That seems the most correct to me. Minus two? Oh man, weakness charm would be so good if I knew I was getting a shell bow. But I don't. Yank is okay. Can you put that on Pom Bomb? What happens? I'm gonna buy this bite box. Yeah, no, this thing's kinda nuts. It's but it's not kinda nuts. It's pretty good and it's a way to use this scrap charm more effectively. Which is fine. 
none of those charms really call to me. I can give the bite box a, the bite box a block charm as well. This thing's kind of juiced. That's that's not too shabby. Is it right to put block on it? I don't know. It's okay. It also will help me kill things like mocos or makokos and mini mocos, I should say. I play Chompom. I don't need to play Bite Box here. Yet. Mm. I don't want to play any. I don't want to play this hand out. I just want to draw for Shell Shield. And probably hold on to Pom Bomb here. Something like this. I'm not going to sweat the multi kills too much. We're good on money. So we can just be safe here. You're taking five. That's fine. Spike can go down to two. I'd like to wait and have Pom Bomb hidden for Noko, but I can't wait because I don't want to waste Woodhead. Spike dips low, that's okay. Pom Bomb comes in, and now I'm a genius for picking Pom Bomb because it makes this mini Moko and Makoko not end my day. That's pretty nice. And Chompong deals a mm hmm. I don't have a multi kill setup. Like I can't even sacrifice Spike for a multi kill. So you may as well just pop the Makoko one. Mm hmm. I see the problems that are arising here. They are numerous. Actually, it's just a uh, mini Moko and Fernoko overlap. But it's not nice. And I think it's not too hard to beat either. I can freeze mini Moko for two turns. No Gobbler becomes an issue, but that's okay. And you gotta freeze in Fernoko. Ah, uh, Snow Gobbler. He's gobbling. I believe the correct choice here is to let Spike die to the Snow Gobbler, because we're going to phase in for Noko here. That part's easy. Uh, and then it becomes hard to kill off these mini- Oh, and then I get- Ah, uh, and then the Bite Box comes in and just triple kills. Oh, wait a minute. If I- No, wait. Bite Box deals equal damage to the attacker. Okay, so it does not triple kill. Okay. So I should ping off Infernoko with Scrappy Sword. I think that's right. And then I'll deal 8 to him. Spike dies. That's okay. Goodbye, Spike. And it's a free turn. So I may as well. It's 2, 4, 5, 6 on my hero who has 12. I may as well drop the mini Moko to 1. Yeah, gross, very gross. Uh, but now these two mini mocos can die to bite box, which is good for me. Makes me a lot of money. Multi kills, very cool. Blocks the full round. I will hang off the snow gobbler, and that's a three kill. It looks nice. And it's plus ten for bite box getting the kills. And now this fight looks very much in our favor, I would say. Looks very controlled. I will Shell Shield Chomp on. I have plenty of money for a shop in the next ring. Area. Whatever. You know what I mean. I can probably multi-kill off of Chomp on killing Infernoko here. Like, it's... what? He's dealing... I think 10 right now. If he loses that shell, actually, it's not very viable. So it'd have to be like this. Take 4 on hero is fine. I'm not afraid. Go to 2. The Frostinger hits Chomp on because I'm actually afraid. Yeah, it'll put him to 9. 
Oh, Nang doesn't take the kill. Okay, don't be afraid. It's only one damage. I can read. Two HP, one damage. Those numbers add up. Okay. Don't be afraid of going to one HP. I'm not scared. You shouldn't be either. Let's go redraw Bell. Sorry, Spike. Not that sorry, though. Am I? Ah, we get to go to a shop. How exciting. The muncher is nice, too. I will throw away two swords. Two swords. You know that one? You ever heard of two chains? Uh, shout out to my stove. What up, stove? That's a real line from two chains, by the way. I will take nutshell cake. More shell is good. Don't kill my boy with it. And we buy vase, we buy crown. Can I buy snow cake? Oh, I can. How exciting. And then we have an econ round. There's no shop in the ring after this, so I'm happy. I'm chillin'. Throw the crown on Chompon. Yeah, uh, we're pretty strong here. We're not out of it yet. I think one... Uh, what is that card called? The T. Blaze T, I think it is. One of those would be real nice here. Oh man, Bitebox bodies conquer. Wow. Actually obliterates him. Cool. That's good to have. Oh, and Pom Pom does super well in this fight as well. Alright. I'm gonna give Nutshell Cake to Chomp On. And if I Pom Pom, here's a fun lesson learned here. When Shell Witch hits Spike, does Shell Witch die? I, I mean, wait, sorry. When Shell Witch hits Spike, does everyone else get Shell? That's the actual question. Oh, they do not. It dies before the apply happens. There you go. That's what I wanted to learn. Some units, they don't... And people ask me why I, I ask that question sometimes. Because I've, I've had people comment. Uh, it should work. Like, it, it, yes, right? It, the answer to the question is yes. The apply should not go off. But if you look, Colonel does not work that way. When Colonel dies, he does drop his apply before he dies. I'll take the two kill here. I don't mind Chompom taking the two two teeth hit to drop a 17. Yeah, Bitebox is just going to clean up the conquers for me. I'll freeze Goblin. How much do I respect Bolgo? None. Like zero. I respect Bolgo a negative amount. We'll be hitting the Goblin for money now. A shame that I... I should probably actually have frozen the Shell Witch, because I could have... Could I have done nothing? There was nothing I could have done with that. I could have had a frozen Shell Witch. That armor makes no difference, that guy always dies. I have to freeze Chomp on. I'm not doing that. Or I could hit the Goblin, I guess. Ah, uh, there's like actual enemies here. I expected there to be nothing. Hmm. I don't respect this boss. I really don't respect him at all. We live for so long. His turn timer is... His, not him, but his allies' turn timers are so long that he doesn't scare me. Mm. Yeah, I will crack the gobbling and just take the two kill. I think that's as good as you're gonna get for money here. That seems alright. Uh, do not die. I'll just shield my hero. Chompom takes turns and then the enemies pass away. So I'll play accordingly. It's not like he needs to go up anymore. He's one-shotting everything. Bulgo. Society has forsaken him. <laughs> He's such a goofy guy. He, what a what a silly little guy. He doesn't like society, and society doesn't like him. <laughs> Uh, I love his, love his dumb face. He's so silly. Alright, two kill and we're out. Like I said, I'm not sweating the money too much in this one. I think it would be nice to pick up something good for Chompom, but there's no shop coming up. I'm not in a big fear. I'm not in a big rush here. Yeah, we can go. I don't really have anything for the muncher. I could take a bad card so I could munch it. I mean, Berry Blade's fine. It's not really exciting, but it goes with Lil Berry, so I'll probably swap Lil Berry in for Spike. 
It's three damage as well. I, yeah, I'm gonna go to the cave. I don't have anything for the mantra. I have one sword, but I don't mind it. Molten egg? Hmm. That one's really good. It's great for Pom Pom. And, well, yeah, we'll just play it on Pom Pom. That's fine. And I'm gonna swap Spike for a little Berry, because we picked up Berry Blade. I don't think it matters too much. I think they're about the same, but, you know. Mm, this Wooly Drek is not that spooky to me. We're really far ahead if I just drop Pom Bomb. But I can wait. And I will wait. Yeah. So I'll play Sunrod Hero. And we'll just drop this guy to 12. And what I'm waiting for here is the next wave to spawn, in case you were curious. Now I hit, instead of hitting the 30 I could have hit off of Palm Bomb, I hit a 50. That is a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I don't have Spike. If I had Spike here, I would actually be so rich. <laughs> I would make, I would, I would make a lot of money. But alas, no Spike. I do have this bite box though, which can do a little something. Yeah, because they're all at 2-2. Two, two. Okay, I'm going to recall a little berry, and I'm just going to drop bite box in front. One of the hits will just go to Wooly Drek, which is fine. It'll kill two. Oh, and it killed, killed the Bigfoot that we weren't killing. Oh, I could have put my hero on the top. Uh, but I would have lost a Gromble. You could put like... I don't know, you could min-max that turn a little more if you want. That was pretty good. I'll take that one any day. Any fight of- any version of this fight where you kill Wooly Drek before the boss spawns is a version that you are winning. My gobbling is late. Uh, whatever. I'm killing Bigfoot now. Yeah, we- I mean... This is the hardest fight, I think, although they did nerf it quite a bit, so I don't know if it really is still the hardest fight. But it's close to the hardest fight, and we are breezing through it, which is a great sign. We aren't super strong for the final boss, though, I would say. Hmm. That was not a great play. Five and two is seven, you're at eleven. This is okay. Yeah, that wasn't the that was the wrong play there. That was definitely not right. Letting Bigfoot and Big Lou overlap is very scary, and we should not do that. But it's okay. I will survive. I can offset them here. I was thinking about this goblin, but I made a lot of money in this fight. I'm okay. I'm good to leave. Am I... Uh... Oh, you know what? I have my nightlight super high. That's why the paint colors look a lot different. It's very late and my eyes... No, I mean, I've just been not on the computer very much, so when I turned my computer on, it kind of blinded me. And so I turned the nightlight up quite a bit to filter out all of the light that blinded me. Yeah, I'm just killing. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't care about that two kill I probably missed out on. It's scary. Don't be greedy. I have so much money. Mm. No duplicate, of course. But I don't think there was anything I would have done it for. Maybe not shell cake. Yeah, yeah. I see now. It just looks different because my nightlight's cranked super high. The purple is getting its color filtered out the blue light, which is good. Good for the eyes. Molten Dip does very little. Normally that's a card that I'm really excited about, but Chompom doesn't need it. So I will take a charm or two. Probably two charms here. Two charms? And I already did that one, sorry. Battle charm. 
And I think we charm man. I mean battle charm for berry blade is fine. I don't hate it. And Pengu Charm, I mean, I kind of hate that one. I do have this Lumen Vase now. I'll crown the cake. The nutshell cake, not the snow cake. Getting Chompom started is good, although in this fight it doesn't really matter. Mm. Yeah, you know what you should do? I think a little trick here is Nutshell Cake isn't that important. This is a very clunker heavy fight. We could just play Snow Cake Lumen Vase turn one on Crunker. And this basically trivializes the fight for you. Because you just say, hey Crunker, cease your existence. And yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I would say so. There's a three coming at me from Spuncher. We deal eight. I think we'll just kill Grinky here. Hmm. I don't know. I want to heal a little berry. This is probably going to be a long fight. It typically is. Crunker is not a fight that goes fast. Crunker is a fight where you are in it forever, it feels like. So, actually, leave the Grink at full HP so it dies to Palm Bomb is good. Is there... Ah, uh, yeah, so this little five enemies arriving means that I kill Spongebob, I get three fresh enemies, I Palm Bomb, I'm very far ahead. Yeah, 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 look at this. I can Palm Bomb next turn in time with Chomp Bomb's attack. I'll play Woodhead. So Chomp Bomb will kill this Spuncher. Yeah, my hero... I could have Sun Rotted, but I'm one short. I'm happy with a little... Yeah, a little three kill there. I don't want to lose spot on uh, my woodhead, but we are going to redraw for snow. Oh, and we draw berry blade, which is also fine. Full heal, will berry. He's not scaling like crazy, but he's doing just fine out here, will berry. And there are three more enemies on their way. One of them should be a spike wall, I assume. Oh, wow. No, oh, two more enemies arriving in four turns. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Sure, sure. I'm... I mean, I'm chilling. Crunker is a non-factor. Like I said, you just line up your woman vase like that and the fight is trivial. You kind of get to steamroll it. Nice. And this is a natural two-kill. I should woman vase there. Yeah. Oh well. We're gonna have a clear board. Ooh. Oh, pardon me. I'm not like, I'm not tired, tired, like I'm not falling asleep. I'm just like tired. I don't know. You know the difference? There's like, there's like the, I'm so tired I can't keep my eyes open. And then there's the, man, I'm tired. Like my body is tired. I'm not mentally tired though. I didn't do shit today. I didn't do shit this whole week. I feel like I just kind of laid around and drove. But, here I am. Chompom bops the porcupine. Nice little two kill, and Crunker has tw 11 turns before you can play the game. Good luck, buddy. Nah, you're, you're gonna get there, trust me. I should have my hero go first here, I guess. It, it's whatever. I missed like five damage. I don't care. Am I going to try to bite box this boss out? Probably not. I'm just going to let Chomp Bomb do it. But this isn't really the, like, upfront oomph that we need to punch right through the final boss, I think. So, I can foresee a few issues with this one. Nobody dies to this. I'm going to let the bite box kill because it's easy. 
May as well take the five extra gold. I paid for it. This bite box is going to do a lot of work on the final boss, though. Going to be a big player. Oh, God, these, uh, these pathing options have been pretty rough. I don't know, man. You could pick up a second snow cake. Snow cake crusher, snow cake junker. And then just deal with everything else. Buys you a lot of time before you're really threatened, especially with bite box tanking the barrage. You just have an aimless to deal with, which is not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's probably fine. The numbers line up. I think you just grab another snow cake. Oh, Spike. Yeah, here, little berry. You're my son. You're my good buddy. I'm fighting crabs. I need my I need my strongest soldier to fight crabs. And I will play a turn one nutshell. Let's get it. Pray for a shop. I'm gonna be pretty sad if I don't get another shop here. Yo, dude, the nightlight. <laughs> this entire screen is orange. What the hell? Um, I like it actually. I like it a lot. It looks sweet. I could maybe... Yeah, I can 3-kill if I slam Palm Bomb here. Is it worth it? I don't know. I think I'll do it. Oh, also, I could have gone to the Muncher earlier and I could have thrown away my sword and my flame water. This flame water is not very useful. I didn't think about that card. Down to Lumen Vase Shell Shield. Doesn't really matter because it's just a lot of work to kill the boss here. But we'll make Spike an unkillable wall. Yeah, you play shit like Bite Box out and then you just chill, I think. I'd like to kill the Crawler, please. Mm, yeah, okay. Like, I play out Bitebox Woodhead and I'm drawing very quickly into what I need. I should play it out, if I'm gonna say I'm gonna play it out. Yeah, because here comes Numskull and the boys. Crab just has block up. Tompom kills Burster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm one card away from whole hand every turn. Or whole deck every turn, rather. That's okay. I think I'll kill... Kill this crab here. The bursters don't bother me because it's going to take them forever to kill Spike. I need to get rid of these snow cakes, though. And unfortunately, my bite box is wasted. It should have tanked that crawler hit for me. But bite box isn't ever going to do anything in this fight anyway. So it's fine. Thank you, Spike. Six to bite box, one to woodhead. Alpom kills Crawler. Hero has to go. Hmm. Okay. There's a chance that I lose the multi kill here because Crawler, Shield, Burster. But there's not a good way to deal with that. Yeah, it's fine. It didn't happen. The way to deal with that requires a level of forethought that I am not going to be doing tonight. I am. I am not about it. This fight is done. I can just chill. Yeah, because Spike tanks the bursters, and I can out-heal Numbstall very easily. I can just redraw Shell Shield every turn and win this fight now. Eventually, I will not redraw it, though. Because eventually it will be the bottom card. 
So, over a long enough period of time, I think Numbskull does not gain on me. Like, in a world where I just play Spike and I remove every other factor but Spike, Shell Shield, and the other cards, I think I still gain on Numbskull. Sometimes I'm gonna have to go three turns, but it averages out to be like, what, eight? It's about four shell per turn, basically. It's like slightly less than four shell per turn. I think you would take... It's like, the the math gets really strange here, but... And I, I find it interesting, so I'd like to take a moment and talk about this probability, and you can follow along with me here. I have six cards in hand. I'm guaranteed to draw this card, which means that there are seven cards in my draw pile, and I'm pulling six of them. So, over a long period of time, if I'm fighting Numbskull, if I were fighting Numbskull forever, and I were shell shielding Spike every chance I could, like just the protocol is play shell shield on Spike, redraw if I don't have shell shield in hand. I think over time it comes out to be like, so if, if I had one less card in the deck, it would be eight shell every two turns, which is four shell per turn. But because of that six sevenths, like six out of seven times where we press the bell, I'm not going to get shell shield, or no, one out of seven times I'm not going to get shell shield, which makes it like, it's like one seventh of four is how it works out in my mind. And this might not make sense to you. I'm just kind of letting it rock here while I think about this probability because I think it's interesting. I find it cool. Uh, but I, I could have, yeah, because like here it is, right? This turn I miss. So instead of getting eight shell in two turns, I get eight shell in three turns, which means that it spreads out a little bit every now and then. But it's like one out of seven times it spreads out. I don't know. It comes out to be like, if I were to guess, I would say somewhere around like 3.8 shell per turn. If you want to uh, do that math yourself, I'd love to hear it. Anyway, I lined it up for a double kill, just as I planned. And, you know, the, the, it works out as well because the boss is not hitting me for 6 every turn, which is how I would think about it initially. The boss is hitting me for 6 every 5 turns, which is lower than the output of shell that we have. I won't do that to you again, but I think the probabilities are interesting. I like doing that kind of math. I think it's cool. Truffle Charm, man, where's Wart? Man, I wish I kept Wart. <laughs> I wish I picked him. Took fucking a little berry. Ah, there's Blaze T Shell, but wow, this is a killer shop. Holy. Alright, so I'm definitely thinking Blaze T. I'm definitely thinking Shellbow. I will buy one charm. Snowball charm. I'm good on pink berry juice. You could pick pink berry juice here, but I don't think the crowns work. Oh, sun charm. Okay, whatever. It's over. It's it's Jover. Extremely. Uh, yeah. So you could pick pink berry juice there and then play lumen face nutshell cake, pink berry juice turn one and give Chompom eighteen shell turn one. I don't care about that. Sun charm, my boy. He goes fucking nuts. He goes absolutely wild on him. He is going to destroy. I don't care about the rest of this, I don't think. Snowball Charm. Snowball Charm on this fight. Uh, I don't want to play Spike into Frost Guardian because I don't want to give him free attack. I want it to be at least somewhat in my control. And I will play turn one Nutshell Cake and probably turn one Blaze T. On another fight, uh, such as the one after this, we will consider something else. I, yeah, I think we're good. This run looks like it came together pretty well. If you ask me. Chomp Pom, tea, have your tea, have your cake, have a nice day. The plum attacks. I'll shell shield chomp on, and you just freeze him. Like this. I'm probably gonna snow cake Bigfoot just to be safe. Oh, Bigfoot's actually important because I need him to tank my next round of attacks for the Frost Guardian so I don't give him free damage. Yeah, do your thing, Bigfoot. 
Shelbo good. God, I love Will Berry. I wish I could. I wish I had a good run for him. We had a good run for him recently. I wish this was my Will Berry run. I love this unit. What a great guy. Look at him. Alright, I will move down. I want to play Bite Box, but I shouldn't. Oh yeah, Bite Box just counters Frost Guardian. If he gets super far ahead, you just Bite Box his dumbass. How could I forget? If you fuck up and you have Bite Box, it just fixes the problem completely. Frost Guardian gets smoked by this card. I could play it, but I'm fine. I think I'll play a shell bow here. You're doing 44. I killed the Grinky off. It's a good timing to kill him because the wave, like, I'm hitting the boss. It's not a big deal. Spike wall, ugh. Yuck. Disgusting. I will be ill. I think I'll Sunrod Chomp on. Just let him pop his boss. Drops him to 11. I was about to say, damn, where's my hero's attack? Ice Forge, by the way. So, worst case, I bite box him. I might do that. I think I will. Oh no, he's he's dead the berry blade. Uh, I don't like killing him with berry blade though, because if you kill him with berry blade, the enemies spawn in and then they have their turn timer countdown, and he has his turn timer countdown. This way, the turn timer doesn't count because he did he didn't die pre combat. No, Uba Bear. No. Fuck you, Uba Bear. Thank you, Pom Bomb. You see how good this freaking Pom Bomb is, though? This thing goes off. I'm telling you. Vote for Pom Bomb. The plus five consume Pom Bomb, it just does too much damage. The game becomes unplayable for the opponents. Ten is like, it's a breakpoint where you kill most of the non major enemies, and I mean, the ones that live, they live at like single digits. Chunking 10 off of a boss is also pretty good. Uh, anyway, I will cut the Blaze T's crown, and we will play one crown on the Snow Cake. And this should be chillin'. Let's kick it. I feel pretty good about this. Mm hmm so we're gonna Snowcake Junker, we're gonna play Triple Top here with Chompom, Hero, Snowcake Chompom, Freeze Junker. Chompom also locks the Jailer down with his Cool Frost. And so the only thing I have to worry about really is the Crusher, whom I will... Let's see. We go Blazey Snow Stick, Shell Shield Snow Stick. Mm -mm, that's four turns. Blaze T, Snow Stick, Bite Box Snow Stick. I have to skip Shell Shield on this turn because if I don't skip, if I don't skip the Shell Shield, I'm letting Crusher and Bomber hit, and I don't want to waste one of my Bite Box charges on Crusher because Crusher, after I draw Snow Cake, will never attack again. So we skip Shell Shield as a result. Uh, ordering doesn't matter too much here. I guess maybe it's a little bit better to put Crusher to Snowed. I don't think it matters. I think it's the same. Because he's either at... If I play Blaze T, Snow Stick, he's at 1 with a 2 Snow on him. The numbers don't make a difference. Just play Bite Box here and you're clear. Oh, I don't have to play any of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have a guaranteed Snow Cake draw. Yeah, like so. Okay, double snow cake versus this fight might makes both of the major threats non-issues, which is good, I would argue. And we'll Lumen Vay Shelbo, and we will start giving Chomp on big numbers. Frost Lancer is outpaced. Frost Muncher eats my berry blade, which is fine. 
You just don't have the damage output of um, Frost Lancer here. You can hit my hero all you want. I don't care. Jailer's almost dead. I guess I'll play Bomb Bomb, but it feels like a waste. Uh, I should play them out though so that they consume. So that I can draw into my shell bow again more, ac more often. You want to do the math on that with me again? Nah, that's okay. You're good? Cool. Me too. I'm letting the Jailer hit me here. I'm probably just going to throw a snow stick at him. I should take screenshots. Hold on, let me, let me open game. It's not open right now. I gotta remember to crack this bad boy open. Mm -hmm. Bomber starts hitting me, which is where we can start taking too much damage, I think. But if I just draw into Shelbo every turn, we're close to it, we're good. Next Chompom attack kills both of these. Yeah, this is Jover for sure. 100%. Thousand percent over. Dunker ate snow stick. I don't mind. It's bad though because I didn't actively think about the fact that Muncher was attacking. I it didn't cross my mind. Not a good look. Sorry, I'm opening my thumbnail creating software here. Oh god, it's not here. Okay, well I have to. I'll do it when I pause. I'll pause shortly. I just want to get a little bit of a bigger number on Chomp Bomb before we rock. Hmm. I'll sort him. It's fine, I'll just make the right plays here. Okay, I'm gonna pause, I'll be right back with screenshots. Not for you, I mean, you'll see them already there in the thumbnail. Go look at them. I worked hard on that. Screenshots acquired. Frost Bomber, you're now allowed to perish. I think he just dies this hit, right? This is exactly the so It's one over. Alright. Cool. GG. I still got it. Nice. It's good for my confidence to win the first run back. I gotta tell you. Oh, yeah, like I said at the, at the start, though, if you, did, if you skipped ahead or whatever, I will be playing... I'll be doing a first look tomorrow for Shogun Showdown. Game looks cool, so I'm gonna cover that. Uh, we can take a break from Wild Frost... Although, you know, games, this game is still a lot of fun as well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.